John Barnes here with Red Barnes Audio. And today, we're gonna to talk about punch and roll and four variations on a theme. Now, this is part of my Recording It Right series in my master class, so I'm gonna give you a minor subset because when we're recording it right, we can end up with faster and higher quality production. So I think of punch and roll in a couple different ways. Number one, I have as two major categories. Number one, I call keep and add, and I'll explain that in just a second. And the other one is, oh, redo the last take and then record it again. So let's talk about keep and add just real quickly. Number one, say you record for five seconds or five minutes or whatever, and you have some really good audio. Now at some point you stop, and then you either go back a phrase or you just append to the end and keep on going because you wanna keep most of what you've done and then continue on from that point. So that's just keep and add. And then the next thing we have is, no oh, darn, that isn't worth keeping. I have that one a little more than I'd like to admit. And that always has four steps behind the scenes. I obviously need to stop. I'll undo that previous take. I'm gonna reset my cursor. And then I'm gonna start the recorder and have it pre-roll and then keep on going from there and punch and roll. I get to hear it. Now we can always do all four steps manually. You can stop, you can go back, you can reset. You can just do it all manually. But there are some great tips and tricks that allow you to do it in four manually, do it in two steps, two keystrokes, or just do it in a single keystroke. And I'll show you all these variations right now. And you'll have these tools and you'll be able to use them as you see fit and get your production done faster and cleaner. Let's take a look at Studio One and look at these in action. And now we're looking at Studio One. So we're gonna go through these variations real quickly. What I'm gonna do is record something for you. And the first one is keep and add. And then I'll show you the other variations that you can use. And some of them require you to be in context and recording while you restart. But watch this, this is just keep and add. Brain surgery, do it yourself and save. Now, pretend that was five minutes or two minutes or something, but we now have something that we've recorded and it was brilliant. You have to pretend, you know, use some imagination there. And now I'll reset my cursor right to this, right close to the end point. Doesn't have to be anything perfect. I could adjust that later if I need to. And now I'll add on to that. And if I make a mistake, I'll invoke one of the other ways. Matter of fact, there's a medical term here. I'll, let me see if I can blow that. Do it yourself and save. Is your Ambla Gobla a bit primitive? Well, no, wait a second. Now, what I did there was Control Z, I took out that take, because I know that's really amygdala, right? That's what I should have said, but I said, I don't know, Ambla Gobla, I tried to make up a word. Amygdala is what I should have said. So I don't know if you can tell here, but if I scroll back just a little so you can see it, there is my brilliant four and a half seconds, I hope I do longer in the real world, and then I pressed Control Z and it went back and reset this. So that's the first variation that we're gonna have. Now, I can also do it this way. Do it yourself and save. Is your amygdala a bit primitive? And pretend I don't like this, I could stop. So that's step one. Control Z, take out that take. Now you notice my cursor is still stuck out here at the nine minute mark and I wanna go back to the exact same point. So that's either the zero key on the PC or on the Mac, it's the zero key up on the keyboard, but it takes it back and puts it right back at the same point, and then I press R again and I start. Do it yourself and save. Is your amygdala a bit primitive? Getting weepy reading complex text? So now let's pretend that that was fine, I didn't stumble over anything, and I stopped because I needed to get a quick drink of water, and then I'll go back and reset my cursor, and now let's do the other variations on that. I press the same key, we record. Reading complex text. Try our new Don Code DIY Brain Surgery Kit. So there, that was brilliant, obviously. And then I'll reset the cursor. So we, we're constantly doing keep and add. That one just goes on most of the time where, and we stop at some point. And if we don't like that, then obviously I can go ahead and undo that and get all the way back and get my cursor reset. But I'm just gonna go to here. And now let me make some good mistakes here and go over the other variations. The first one I'm gonna do is while the recorder is running, I simply choose undo. Control Z. DIY brain surgery kit. Brain surgery used to require complex tools, clean rooms, and expensive hospital stays. But let's pretend I didn't like that. Control Z. And it just reset everything up. And you really can't see it here, but it did all the right things. 
and it'll do the playback properly. And so by simply pressing a single key, I did Control Z in context. The recorder was running and it took that out and reset my cursor for me. And let me reset while it's all on the screen. And if I didn't do this well, Control Z takes that out. And I don't know where I'm at in my script. And I. Brain surgery, kit. brain surgery used to require complex tools. Now, I'm doing four steps. I'm stopping like that. I'm undoing, Control Z, take that out. I'm pressing a single key to get my cursor reset to the last point, and I'm pressing R. Brain surgery, kit. But if I blow it again, I have a macro that you have free through the narrator's toolbar light that you can download. And with a single click or a single key, it will do all of that at once. It just restarts, it takes out this take, but it has to be running in order for this to work. So here's a single key. DIY brain surgery kit. And I don't, I'm not set up right. DIY brain surgery kit. Brain surgery used to require complex tools, clean rooms, and expensive hospital stays. Now, with a few tools you probably already own, like a hacksaw, cordless drill, and our new improved premium rhinestone encrusted hole saw, plus a few rags for quick cleanup if required, you can join the elite. And so now this happens all the time. We're gonna keep all that and then we're gonna add on single key. You can join the elite. Perform brain surgery on yourself. And if I don't like that, C key. You can join the elite. Perform brain surgery on yourself. Oh. You Perform brain surgery on yourself and impress your dates, your loving Facebook friends, and those business savvy Pinterest users. This isn't for everyone, but someone like you can make it happen. So do you see that? There are different variations. When the recorder is running, I can control Z and then just wait and pause as long as I want. And it takes out the previous take. It actually stops, takes out the previous take and resets my cursor or I can use this custom macro and it'll do that all at once and restart the tape recorder, tape recorder. It'll restart the recorder and we'll be off and running. I just date myself so many times during this, but you do see that's what happens. I started with tape yeah, 40 years ago. So what's the big takeaway on this? There's a lot of finesse things that I'm not showing right now. And just a couple quick examples. I could come in a month from now and if I had accidentally cut off something, I can go to these seams and I can move the start point around a little bit. If you want later, you can adjust this audio quite simply. There's a way to drag this start and end and just finesse it. If this was too loud, I do this punch in, whether it's in context or a month later and I need to adjust it because it was too loud or too quiet, I can drag it up and down and there's, you know, I can, I can fade it in a little bit if it was too loud. There's just a whole host of things I can do. I can fade them both. I can fade just the one. I'm not showing you everything you can do. Punch and roll is more than just the recording because when you're done and you have a non-destructive editor, you just end up with a whole lot more that you can do to finesse your audio and make it that much better with very little effort. So I'm not going over every option. This is part of my Recording It Right series. When I do boot camps and when I teach people privately, I've got a complete custom program that goes through all the details for recording it right. And when you do this right, when you're done, you have no editing of this content. Now, maybe I'm gonna find a mistake and I'll come back in later and I have a system for doing revisions, but this technique, when you get it down and it takes people a little bit of time, man, they can fly through this stuff. And when you're done recording, you're done recording. There's no editing. So that you just cut out massive amounts of work that normally people are doing after they record. So I hope you enjoy this. Remember, you can get it down to a single keystroke to re-record something if you make a mistake and you wanna just blow away that take, or you can stop and reset the cursor manually if you need to. There's a whole host of options. There's just not one way to do punch and roll. And one final little bonus tip. When you get good at punch and roll, you can get the timing just perfect between these segments and you cannot believe the difference. You can hear the difference with somebody who's punching and roll because they listen to the feel of the, of the recording before the new start and that does make a difference. It's amazing the difference it makes when you hear yourself before you restart. So I hope you enjoyed this and I really hope you join our Facebook group, you subscribe to the channel, Give this a thumbs up. 
Make sure you put comments in there. If you have questions, be sure to ask in the Facebook group. And of course, this is Don Barnes for Red Barnes Audio, and I look forward to seeing you on the wires.